Hello, everyone. I'm Nathan Mott. I'm a solution architect here at PH Data. And today, I'm going to walk you through how to implement some code from one of our blogs. The blog in particular is written by Nick Pelegi and titled How to Use DBT with Snowpark Python to Implement Sentiment Analysis. Now, I'm not going to go into too many details of the solution. I will link the blog in the description of this video and let you read through. Nick has gone into great detail on to why and how all these pieces fit together. What I'm going to focus today on is walking you through how to actually do this for yourself. So the order of tasks is going to, we're going to fork the original repository to our own GitHub. This is so that you can connect it up without going through a full GitHub integration. And if you don't have a GitHub account and you want to do that first, they're again free. We're going to create a free Snowflake trial account to be able to build all this inside. We're going to create a DBT cloud project. Again, you can choose the free developer licensing to create a single project. From there, we'll download the pre-built ML model. What's the Vader lexicon zip file? We'll just, it's in the repo. So we'll just download it from there. So you don't have to go find it yourself on the websites. We're then going to upload that model to Snowflake using SnowSQL. And then we will need to enable Anaconda within the Snowflake account if it's the first time we've ever done this, which if you just created the trail account, it will be. And then finally, that will enable us to run the DBT project and review the results. So let's jump over to his repository here that we got. And like I said, so it will go through and it also explains that this is not necessarily DBT best practices. This is a kind of quick and dirty way to get some data that we can use. It's using seed files to create a customers and orders and a payments. And then what we're adding is the reviews. So we're going to get a bunch of, you know, straight comment reviews of orders and products from customers. And then we're going to run the Vader lexicon model on it to give it some analysis, sentiment analysis, and see whether those comments are positive or negative. All right. So to start, I'm just going to go and fork his model. So I'm already logged into my own GitHub. This is me, Naga 2002. And I'm just going to leave it called the same here. Yeah. DBT Snowpark sentiment example. Looks like it's available. Yep. Don't need the description for now. And I will just copy the main branch only. So let's create that fork. All right, great. Then we got the, our own repository now. So next thing we're going to do is would be go create the Snowflake account. I've already got mine created. Once you've got your, your new account, you there's a few things you'll need to note, which we'll go find in here in a sec, but prior to getting a DBT project, we need to do two things, which is create a database and a warehouse. So to start, we'll create this database. We'll just call it analytics. Then. We have a warehouse. We're going to call it the transform warehouse. Now I'm choosing a small here. You'll see in comments, I do have snow park optimized as another option. It's a little overkill for this small amount of data that we're using, but in a real scenario, you might consider these snow park optimized to run your models because they have higher memory and can handle the more processing. But we're just going to go with a small warehouse for right now. So that's all we need to do in Snowflake at the moment. And then we can jump to DBT cloud. So once you've got your cloud set up now, you can either go to account settings and select new project from there, or if it's the very first time, it may prompt you right away to create a project. Either way, we're going to go into the new project dialog. We need to give the project a name. So I'm just going to call it Snowflake DBT NLP. All right, then we're going to hit continue. We are going to connect to Snowflake. Yep. So then you have a couple of things here. I do want to give it another name. I'm going to then add DBT and LP here. So then you need to go and grab your account name. All right. So to find your Snowflake, and it's actually going to be up in the URL. The two pieces of information you will need is to know what region you're on and the account URL ID. Now, in this case, you're going to actually arrange these differently over here. And there's, you can also hit the help and DBT. It'll let you know this. And of course I've got 
already there. So it's going to be the WLB in my case, a dot, then the US dash East dash one. And that's all you need for the snowflake part database. And I called it analytics. And then I called it transform warehouse. You can optionally have a role. I'm just going to let it default to the normal role there. And then we have what username. Now you can, it's normally advised to do a key pair for logging in here, but for this demo, we will just stick to username and password. So that's the username I created when I created the snowflake trial account. And let me go grab password. Okay. Uh, so this is your developer schema to kind of keep it so that multiple developers could theoretically, you know, work on the same project at the same time and not stomp on each other. You want a separate schema for all your models to be built into. So I'm going to leave it as DBT and mop, and then all the rest of this is going to stay the same. So we could do a quick test here, make sure this is good to go. Yep. Test is, and we're good to go. So we'll hit next. Now, sending up the repository, we're going to go with git clone in this case, like I said, we're not going to do the full GitHub and we're not going to do managed because I need, we're going to leverage the codes already out there. So you'll see, it gives you a, a talks you through it here in detailed docs, but essentially what we're going to need is we're going to be using the deploy key option. So first thing I'm, it wants is I get at or to stage URL. So let's go back to the repository that I forked. So here's mine. I put under code. I want the SSH option. And then you'll see it says get at, and I'm going to copy all that, bring that back here and put that in there. And I'm going to say import. And it's going to spit out yep, a key for me. So this is key that I need to put into my repo to let them authenticate. And then we want to go to settings in the repo, and then you'll see a section called deploy keys. And then you'll be adding key here. You give it a title and can put, this is yep, DBT snow park NLP. So I kind of know what this key represents. We could decide if we want to allow write access in this case, I will, I don't probably don't plan to write much to it, but that's your call. It's your own repo. You can do what you want with it now. So there we go. So we have that key set up. We can go back. Go ahead for a sec. And hit next. There we go. So there we go. Our project is ready. So now we can start developing in the IDE. So let's do that. Jump in here. This is the cloud IDE. Comes with DBG Cloud. So browser based. Don't have to install anything. Fully ready to go with lots of great DBT features. All right. It's going to take a few minutes here. So we should now have our, we're on the main branch and we can kind of see our models are here, our seeds, project file. Now we do want to go in here and so the name is Jaffel Show Project. Yep. Let's confirm everything here. It's good. So what I'll do is just cause you can't edit anything on main branch. I'll go ahead and create a branch and we'll just call this first then. Okay. It's always good to work on a branch and not directly on main, just in case something you want to push. So. First thing I'm going to do is actually to get our schema created and get, is just going to run those seed files. So I'm going to do dbt c and this will take just a little bit going here. All right. So as you can see, we got seed ran here, a couple seconds, the, the three, you know, the orders, the payments and the customers here are normal. And like I said, we added the reviews. And these seed files are just CSVs that are built into the model. So you can certainly go look at them yourself. Like, so here's reviews, right? We just have an owner ID and then what the review comment is. This is the natural language that we are going to analyze. All right. So now with that run, we should be able to go back to Snowflake and refresh. And within our analytics, we now have our schema, dbt and mod. 
in our raw layer here. And again, you can query those raw reviews or any of the raw tables you like. These are now in Snowflake and imported with DBT. And we didn't have to create any table statements. That's the magic of DBT. You simply just run the code and run the select statements. And well, in this case, it's CSV, so it handled it, made the select for us. So next thing we need to do is go and create a stage. So, cause we need somewhere to load the model. We want to load a pre-built model so that our NLTK Python code does not go out and try to download it from the internet every time it runs. So we're going to first use that schema that we've got because we want the stage to live in the schema that we're going to be running our DBT project in. Then we're going to create a stage. We're just going to call it DBT depths. All right. So now that's got a stage. Next, we need to go download our zip file. So we can go back to our repo. If we go back to code. You'll see we did include it here in the repo just for convenience sake. It's not being used directly by DBT this way, but we need to get it into Snowflake so it can be re referenced that way. So best thing to do, we can go into it actually this way, I think, and download. All right. Now, depending on where your downloads to Putin, you, I've already downloaded it, so I've got a one in the end, but make sure you know the path of where your downloads is, whether you're a Mac or Windows, or make sure you can get that full path and leave it this way. Yeah. So there's different ways. We copy path name. You'll need that. All right. Try to do it in Mac. Then we need to go to our terminal now. So next step is the snow park. So if you haven't set up, sorry, snow sequel, you have not set up snow sequel, there is instructions. He does have a link to it here as well. I'm not going to walk through all that because it, it is dependent on your system and your local, but there's a lot of detailed instructions here from snowflake on how to snow install it, configure it and get it connected to your snowflake account. I'm just going to jump in and show you how to run it. So I've got to configure with a connection. So that I can just simply say snow sequel dash C for the connection. And then I named the connection DBT NLP, and that will connect to my snowflake account that I've already got that, that I just showed you earlier. So this will launch into the snow sequel command prompt. And now initially it has no database, no schema. So we will want to bring that in. I mean, go grab my coup. So what we're going to do, and I'll have all this code available, anything from the worksheet. Make sure I have it, now that I think about it, over right here. So this here can't actually be run within snow site because this is a put file. I won't know what to do with a put command, but we actually want to run all these in snow SQL. So I'm going to jump back over here, paste that. So yep, use database analytics, use schema, dbt, and mot, and then we're going to do a put. We needed a couple extra slashes just for escaping, but here's my path in my downloads folder for the Vader lexicon.zip. And we also we're going to put it in a bit of a folder structure and you'll see a little bit later why we need it in that way. And so we should be able to just hit run and there we go. So that's now been uploaded into Snowflake and we can jump back and then just to confirm if we want, we can do a list command on there and there you go. So you can see there's our Vader lexicon.zip and ready to be used. So let's jump back to our agenda to remember where we are. So we've downloaded it, we've uploaded. Oh yeah. And then we need to, before we can run the whole Python in snow park for the first time, if this is brand new account, which most likely is you're going to come in, you're going to go to your admin section on your homepage and you will need to be under your account admin role and billing and terms. And you'll see up here, I'll have a button. You'll have to read some terms and agree that we're going to be able to run Anaconda Python packages within our Snowflake again. So that's required one time. And then we're ready to do the DBT project. So again, the model or, or sorry, the Nick's blog will go into a lot more detail into what we did and why we did it and what were all the different pieces. I'm not going to go into too much with that right now. Just know that we got reviews.py is the model that's doing the machine learning, the NLP processing here, right? So it imports the NLTK Python library as well as pandas. It references that file that we've already uploaded. So it doesn't need to go download it from the internet. It's going to 
We have to move the file. That zip file has to unfortunately be in a very specific location to process. So that's what some of this is. That's just a, a kind of an outcome or a requirement for the NLTK. But ultimately, this is the magic right here, right? We're just doing the sentiment intensity anal analyzer. Sorry. We're doing some very simple down. Just caveat this model is not been trained to our data. It's just out of the box being applied. And we're not even really making it very complex. We're simply just saying if the compound value that comes out of it is greater than zero, we're going to say that's positive. This could certainly be tweaked and fine tuned. Maybe use some combination of those numbers that come out of this, but we're just going to use the one for right now. And then we're going to simply create a final data frame that includes the original owner ID, the original review text, and then our new column, that review positive that came out of using our SIA, our sentiment intensity analyzer. So I'm just going to run all these together with a DBT run. DBT knows the lineage and knows to what order it needs to run everything in. And since our seeds are already built, it can just jump right to stage and then oops. it'll do their main models, which is orders, customers, and reviews. Okay. And we're done. And you see the, obviously the reviews model took the longest because we're just running on that small warehouse, 32 seconds to do all the analyzing and, and machine learning on there. Everything else was quite quick. So now. We should be able to go back to our worksheet in Snowflake. And we can look at, we can, we can refresh over here if you want, just kind of see that we actually created some tables now in addition. And we got the reviews table, which is our final one, as well as the orders and customers. But let's just, the main thing we're looking here, right, is the reviews. And we now have this review positive. So it goes through and it will kind of give us a general idea with the text, if those are good reviews or, or bad reviews, you know, positive or not. And, you know, these are kind of lots of different use cases here. You can track a product's reviews over time and see if they're getting more positive or less. So you can apply it in healthcare to like providers and, you know, patient reviews. There's all different applications for natural language. This particular library is mainly set on social media. So you can also just track your social accounts and decide, are people happy with certain things or not? And so this is the use case. This is how to take Nick's blog of using DBT and Snow Park Python and implement some sentiment analysis. And I just showed you how to do it yourself. With all free accounts. Hope you can take that, learn it and apply it to your businesses and get some great value. Thanks for watching.